that that boat over there looked like it was having a bad time. It's just like uh, yeah, it looks sick. It does. Look I know. Sick. It's, I know it's the animus or whatever. But yeah. Like, it's like help me. I I will ease your troubles. Um. Yes. Oh, you're gonna shit on it. Okay. I will ease your troubles. I'm gonna finger this boat. Ooh. There, it is better. Man, you are healed. I wish that's how real life worked. <laughs> finger it, it gets better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's so, nice. What did it? Mm. Yeah. This looks like a laundry basket. Um. See, in uh, ancient Italy, they would actually put their laundry outside, and then uh, midgets were forced to... <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were being, like, legit serious. <laughs> Fuck! Can you not swim? I can't. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Right. Anyway, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, midgets were forced uh, at, at bayonet point to... Uh, <laughs> to, to clean to the laundry. Their, yeah, yeah. They were like, you're short people, you are naturally designed to be laundry height. God, you stay wet a long time in this game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just realized what I said. Ooh. That's killing for the sake of... God, God! <laughs> for the sake of... Oh, God. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> I, just, I feel like this city was designed to be ran on. Well... You just mentioned about the fact... Alright, in the first game, you couldn't swim. You know that, right? Yeah. Uh, they said it's like a glitch in the animus, blah, blah, blah. The swimming protocol was not installed properly. Yeah. Anyways, um... This one, you obviously have to be able to swim, because you do go to Venice at some point, and we know that's the city on the water. Yep. So... City on the water. Okay. Is that a smoke on the water reference? Yes. God, that song is great. It is not. You don't like that song? I no, like smoke on the water. It's, bow, 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 it is bow, a mandatory bow, bow, bow. I know how to play guitar song. Uh, and what I, what are some other other mandatory I know how to play guitar Iron songs? Man. Iron Man. Bow, bow. The intro to Crazy Train. Uh, well, bow, the, bow, that, bow, one, bow, that one that one I would argue is a little bit more complicated. I can do it. But yeah. It's uh I would I wouldn't call it a. Okay. Uh, oh jeez. Oh god. I wouldn't call it a, like intro to guitar song. Um, this is a sad question. I don't need that. Anything by ACDC. Sure, uh, sure. Also, like, be it, uh, whether it's Dirty Deeds, Back in Black, TNT, Have a Drink on Me. That is not a map. Th those are all very good. Uh, Have a Drink on Me? Uh, that's one of my favorites. I've never heard that song at all. The, the, uh, the chorus is actually really clever because it's like, forget about the check, we'll get hell to pay. Uh, and and <laughs> I was like, ah, that's, 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 that's smart, you guys are good. Speaking of ACDC, did you see who their new frontman is rumored to be? No. Nope. Axl Rose. <gasps> what? I hate Axl Rose. <laughs> oh god. I, oh god. Oh god. There's so many of them. I'm running away. Okay. Fuck this shit. But uh, Fuck but you. yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about Axl Rose front fronting for ACDC. Yeah, that sounds weird. Alternate current, direct current, and Axl Rose. <laughs> That's right. I forgot ACDC was all straight current and direct current. Yeah, when you say it that way, the band sounds really lame. Like, yeah, I sound so... Oh, God, I just tackled a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, but they usually charge a lot for it. Uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. Ooh. Yes. Um, sultry ladies. Coincidentally, this is one of the uh, true... Um, real, real, real stories? Yeah, yeah. There was uh, an attempt on the Medici family's life. Uh, back in obviously this time period, basically every assassination mission revolves around uh, real, real, real stuff. That's yeah. what I love about this game. It teaches you history. I have learned more Italian history from playing this game than I have in my entire life. Too bad Italy's history sucks. I love Italy's history. Ugh. Bonfire of the Vanities, which is in this game. <laughs> yeah, but like, fuck, I, I can't climb. Uh, I really can't climb. What the fuck? I. I've discussed the history of the uh, pizza on this, right? I yes, think yes, I, yes. Yeah, I think when I, we yeah. first started playing this game. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about the extent of my knowledge of Italy, except for uh, World War II. Uh, anything besides World War II and pizza, I don't know much about Italy. Oh, I know a lot about Rome, actually. Do you? Oh, well, it's because like, they were warriors. You like yeah, Rome. yeah. The uh, ancient, Rome ancient Rome was pretty cool. Actually, part of me hates ancient Rome because... Um, they, oh God, look at that woman. <laughs> I, I love Spartans, you know, yes, for yes. obvious reasons. Even though they had, they were all hilariously homosexual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, God, I didn't look at her really when you were like, look at that woman. I'm like, now that I did, uh, pretty gross. But uh, anyway. That guy can move! <laughs> yeah, no, for a fat guy? Oh, now look at that woman. How's he? What? All right. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Dio. Help him, Dio. Uh, oh, Dio, no! So many of them. That is, uh, that's right, we didn't call him Dio, didn't we? Oh god, he's dead. Look at his face! Uh, <laughs> oh! It's funny, Dio means god. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Uh, what was 
he talking about? I've totally lost my train of thought. Shit, fuck. What was he talking about? I, uh, something about, uh, uh, uh. Oh, Spartans. There right, you go. So, yeah. um, so the Romans, they, uh, they just conquered the Greeks and then took all their shit. <laughs> like, they took their pantheon, they took their ideologies. Did the Greeks not really have good lawyers? No, they did, but the problem is, is that they didn't reach the numbers that the Romans did. Oh, okay. And, um,. And Sparta at that point was in decline, okay. so their uh, their warriors weren't up to snuff. Okay. And uh, they were best. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm getting fisted. Jesus. There we go. But uh, one thing that I've never understood about the Greeks though is like, the uh, Ares is the god of war, and I'm I'm an Ares. Uh, so now you'll face me, Cherries, the overlord of chairs and drawers. Sorry. Anyway, I'm an Ares. <laughs> That's yes. my my astrological sign. So yes. I naturally really think Ares is pretty cool. Yeah. But the the Spartans, what they did was they made a statue of Ares, yeah. and they chained the statue to the ground so that uh, they, they said that they conquered the god of war and that okay. he would always fight for Sparta. Yeah. And I'm like, that that just seems wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you like to take your deity and be like, yeah, we we chained him up. <laughs> you're like what? He should. You can't chain a god. Yeah, he should willingly lead you. You should yeah, have seriously. to chain him. And uh, so that that always bothered me. Though. God, this guy needs but, um, to fucking die. But yeah, and due to my love of Spartans, though, and uh, Magic the Gathering, you uh, play the and, yeah in the Theros block, there were a lot of uh, Spartans. In you must have jizzed when you heard about the Theros uh, block. Well, that's actually when I got back into Magic. I, okay. played, I played Magic briefly in like 2009. Yeah, and um, then I got back into it in Theros, and uh, ugh, like wait, like immediately I was like a Crohn's. It's got to be a Crohn's. And, uh, Come back here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god, oh I'm so sorry. Oh fuck me. Uh, you desynced, bruh. You desynced. He just runs away. You're supposed to stay with the, the Medicis. It's been a while. Um, I may have to go through that whole fight again. Yay! Not yay, it's so long and boring. Ah, uh, fuck me. Yeah, that guy had a bad day. Yeah, he's like, all I did was come to work today. Yeah, yeah. I like the guy with the hammer though. That's a much larger hammer than that. I could use a hammer if I so desire. See the see the other hammer, the the small one. Yeah. That those are what real war hammers look like. Yeah. The one that I'm swinging at me yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. And the one I just murdered. Hold on. In um. Uh, speaking of warhammers, I um uh, I've been using a lot of uh, warhammer figurines for uh, our Dungeons and Dragons uh yeah playthrough. And um, to see the Warhammer models next to the D and D models, it really does really <laughs> emphasize the the Warhammer aesthetic, yeah. which is huge hands, huge heads, <laughs> and huge weapons. Yeah. And like when you only see Warhammer figurines down, it doesn't look absurd. Yeah. But like, and, and they're they're designed that way so that like, as a giant, you look down at these things and you're like, oh yeah, it looks like a person. Yeah. But then you see the Dungeons and Dragons models, and they're like to scale. <laughs> and like so, like their heads aren't any bigger, their hands aren't any bigger, their yeah. weapons aren't any bigger, and it's like, man, they, they, there's a vastly different aesthetic going on here. But uh, I wish I'd discovered Warhammer earlier in life. Um, I, I, you know, you sh you show me Warhammer, and I, well, I applaud you for liking it, but it's just not my cup. Of tea. Well, like I said, it, it, it's like Pokemon. Yeah. Imagine, imagine that you somebody hands you their Pokemon game for the first time. Yeah. And you like just a battle, and that's it. They're like, here, here's, here's a Pokemon fight. It's Pikachu versus something. Yeah. Like, like a Blastoise, and you're like, okay. And then you win for no reason. You're like, why did I win? Yeah. And then, so like, it's like that. You didn't have the experience of building your team, of collecting your yeah. team, of uh, of researching who and what you want to play. And like, I, I'm a very much a role playing kind of guy. Yeah. Uh, so for Warhammer for me, it's the ultimate jizz fest because here, like, I can craft a, a force that is entirely who and what I love, and I can uh, give it whatever backstory I want. And then, unlike a lot of RTSs out there, um, say, for example, uh, like, StarCraft. You have ten Marines in StarCraft. Those ten Marines are gonna just be ten Marines. Yeah, like, they're all the, yeah, they're all the same. They don't mean anything, and they all do the same thing. Whereas in Warhammer, you get ten Marines. You can, like, customize them. You can name them. You can uh, change their weapons, and you can change how they act on the table. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, ah, uh, it's... <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, more discussing about role-playing mm. oh, in oh. the uh, next episode.